Hey guys, this is Leah with Scott Leroy Marketing, and in today's tip video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Facebook ad within KW Command. Now, the first thing that you'll want to do is, of course, log into Command. So to do that, you'll want to go to agent.kw.com, and you can log in right away. It's the same username and password as for your MyKW account, same login and password as for your Kelly app. All right, so we'll go ahead and put in our username, password is case sensitive, just a heads up, and we'll click sign in. Now first thing we need to do is make sure that you have your Facebook account hooked up to command. So let's come on up to the uh, your name on the very top right of command, and then select settings from that drop down. And if you're still working on logging in, no worries, you can pause the video um, to help help follow along. And once you're in, we'll click on your name on the top right of command and then settings from that drop down. All right, so you'll be taken to all the apps that are currently connected up to command. All right, so if you scroll down, you'll see two Facebook options. Um, I would go ahead and suggest, uh, I would suggest hooking up both Facebook options here. Okay, this Facebook option is for post scheduling. Okay, but if I keep scrolling down to the marketing automation section, you'll see the option to hook up Facebook for ads manager specifically. Okay, and that's what we'll be focusing on in today's class. But I would suggest uh, hooking up Facebook on both of these options here. Okay, if it's not already connected, you can go ahead and click connect account on the right hand side to log into your Facebook account right away. All right, and again, feel free to pause the video if you're working on getting that done. But once you're once you're done with that, okay, if, if it's looking like mine here and you see your name under the Facebook Ads Manager, let's go on over to the Campaign section of Command. Okay, so on the left-hand side menu here, you'll notice if you hover your mouse over any of these options, it'll pop out telling you what that option does. Also, if you click on the KW logo on the top left, it'll pop up. And let you know what each item does as, as you're starting to learn the command navigation. So about halfway down, we'll want to click on the campaigns option. Kind of looks like a megaphone. All right, so we're in this campaign section here. We do have a few different options here. We can run paid ads from here. Okay, these paid ads are things like Google ads, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, and so forth. And that's what we'll focus on in today's video. We can also <clears throat> send mass emails from here, direct mail, and social posts. So you can schedule social posts, and we do have separate videos on all of these items, so let us know if you need that. But for today, we'll go ahead and click on Create a New Campaign on the very top right. All right, so Create a New Campaign on the top right. And it will give you a few options here. So you can see the items that are paid. Okay, so in case you're wondering the difference between a social ad that shows paid versus a social post, right, this is a free item. So let me explain the difference real quick here. So a social ad, if you've ever gone on Facebook, okay, let's say actually you were on Google and you were searching this new pair of shoes that you really want and all of a sudden you go on Facebook and you see an ad for those shoes on the right side column. Okay, well that's a little creepy. That's the basis of what we're setting up here. So these social ads here will reach out to a bigger, uh, bigger audience than just your contact database. So that is what you're paying for here. So you're reaching out to a bigger audience than normal. Okay, uh, and, and that's really beneficial here. I don't know about you, but I see most of my ads these days on social media. Right? That's where I get most of my ads. So this is a worthy investment in my opinion. Right, versus social posts, so social posts is a free option here where you can uh, post a one-time post, you can schedule it out for let's say next week or on a holiday to post out something on your social media like Facebook. Okay, So that is a free option and we do have a separate class on that. But for right now, let's go ahead and select the social ad option. Okay, so that was a little fast. I clicked on the social ad option. And then from here, we'll go ahead and start from the top. So we'll enter a campaign name. So let's say I'm going to promote a listing. So I'll name this one, one, two, three, Main Street. Listing. Okay. What is your goal? I'm going to select to advertise the listing. 
And then on the bottom here, I can select where I would like to run this ad. So in this case, I'll run that on Facebook, but you also have Twitter and Instagram options as well. And we'll click Set Up Campaign on the very bottom. Click on Set Up Campaign on the very bottom right. And it will typically take you to the next screen here, especially if you're trying to promote a listing. All right, it'll take you to search a listing. So it should show you your listings first, okay? But if you are, you know, wanting to promote a different listing other than yours, if you don't have one right now, of course, check with that other agent to make sure they're okay with that. But then you can change that to all listings on the top right. And I can search here by the property address, MLS number, or listing agent here. And once you find the property that you're looking for, just find a practice here, you can go ahead and click select on the right hand side. Clicking select to pull that in right away. Again, if you're still looking for the, the listing, no worries, feel free to pause the video so you can find that. All right, so we are just going down this list here. So as you scroll down, we'll see a bunch of these green check boxes. We just need to go through and give a nice little green uh, check mark to each section here in order to launch this. So first things first, let's come down to the add text. All right, you'll see some tips as you go through this, which is of course very helpful. So keep your text short, clear, and to the point to get your message across. Talk about any exciting landmarks or amenities nearby. Okay, that's a great tip. All right, so you'll see your Facebook ad on the right-hand side here, and as you start to edit it on the left-hand side, you'll see that update immediately on the right-hand side. So I, this will uh, default, the main copy is defaulting, that's pulling from the MLS, the description. I don't personally like to leave that as the main copy. I like to move the description actually to the description field. Okay, you'll see that puts it under here. There are some weird characters here. We'll just take that off right now. So I like to have the main copy. So the main copy will be at the top here. <clears throat> you know, think about all the ads that you get per day, right? It, your feed is so uh, saturated with ads and what do people do? They continue to scroll, right? So try to think outside of the box here for the main copy text. Um, what is something that would make you stop and read it? You know, like uh, around Valentine's Day, maybe you could write something like looking for the perfect home to give to your Valentine. All right, or another example, let's say uh, spring is about to launch, right? You come up with something corny like, welcome the warm spring weather from the, uh, from a gorgeous patio with built-in fire pit and in-ground pool. All right, right, those are very exciting features of the home, of course, right? So that's what you're trying to accentuate here. What is something that will set this home apart? Or what is something, a reason that they should stop and take a look at the pictures even, right? So you're just trying to get them to stop here. Then try to think outside the box on the main copy text and try and keep it short and sweet. Headline, okay, so uh, that will go right here. And again, you'll see that's updating right away. So I'll, maybe I'll put in proudly presenting 123 Main Street. Right, you'll note that you can also add emojis to this text here. Right, and that's always a great thing to add in to liven up the text. Just uh, it's a fine line there. You know, too many emojis can come across a little unprofessional. But at the same time, I do like adding in emojis as it makes you seem like more of a real person, more accessible and easy to talk to, which is you know really important if someone comes across you online. Okay. So as I scroll down, so we have all of this added in, and again I see that updated on the right hand side. So now I'll go ahead and click Save Add Text on the bottom right. And I now see these green check marks all the way down. All right, I'm going to come into the Add Media to click Configure, but you'll see that's already checked off because it has the photo of the from the MLS here. But you can change that out. So if you click on Configure next to Add Media, you do have the option to add even more photos here. You can add a video as well, and video is always really great for, um, for search engine optimization, helping pull that up. So you could add in the virtual tour, okay? Or uh, if you created a video of the home, even just walking through it with your cell phone, okay? Whatever the case may be, you can add in a video or images. 
All right, we see our uh, DBA logo, okay, that's on the bottom right here, so you can change that out if needed. And if for compliance, you are required to add in any statements, all right, to, you know, keep you in compliance, keep your ad in compliance, you can add that in here by clicking include my ownership statement. You know, check in with your broker in charge if you're unsure. If there's anything that you need to add to your ads um, to stay in compliance for your area, it does vary per state, per region. So just check in with your broker in charge and they'll be able to let you know right away. And we'll click Save Ad Media. Okay, so we got all these check marks. All right, now we need to come down to the Facebook ad option and click Configure. All right, we're almost there. So we're clicking Configure. <clears throat> now, starting from the top here, so we'll start on the one. I see my account. Okay, that should be under your name. And then we have the option to select the page. So if you have multiple business pages, they should display here, okay, where you can select that and hook that up right away. Again, your Facebook account would have to be hooked up to command in the settings of command for this part to populate. Okay, so if you are not seeing your page populate here, right, you would need to go into settings and make sure Facebook is, is hooked up. All right, or if you get any other errors, feel free to let us know at support at scottleroymarketing.com. We can shoot you instructions on how to disconnect and relink up the Facebook API to potentially fix any errors you're experiencing. So now you'll see, once I'm complete with any area, it turns it green. It's just really satisfying to me, okay, and helps guide me through the process. So once I have that number one turned to green, let's come on down to number two. And you have a couple options here. So set a destination for people viewing your ad. We recommend using the Facebook lead gen form. All right, so I like to leave it on that one, but you can, of course, use your site or landing page. All right, but I would recommend doing you know, what is recommended from the system to capture the most leads possible. Now coming down to the button call to action label, so you'll see on the bottom right here it says learn more. You can change that if you'd like to, to sign up or apply now, okay, if that applies more to the ad you're posting. And you can go ahead and put in a follow-up destination URL. All right, so after viewers submit the Facebook lead form, you can direct them to a website or landing page. All right, so if you want to go ahead and put in your um, command website, okay, or you can click choose site here, and that will give you some suggestions. So that will show you actually, you know, your command website address here. You have the option to add your app URL, and then it will start showing you any landing pages that you have created as well. Okay, so that will redirect them to whatever site you select once they fill out the Facebook lead gen form. Okay, and the next logical question is where do those leads come, All right? Just a heads up, you'll get receive any Facebook leads to the contact section of your command database, and it should also notify you in the bell icon on the top right of uh, command here and in the Kelly app, All right? So check out those items there to see any leads from this ad. All right, but keeping going down here, so now we completed the destination section here, so we now have the ad targeting, so, I'm not sure why it's defaulting to Kansas. I'm not in Kansas. So I'm going to click Use Custom Settings on the right-hand side. So this is where we are selecting what demographic or what audience we are reaching with this ad. So from here, so I'm in step three. We have a couple options here. Again, if you're not seeing this, I turned on this toggle that says Use Custom Settings on the right-hand side. And you'll see this right away. I would never really suggest clicking target my database, right? You're paying for this ad to reach a larger audience than just your database, okay? So if we click on target a custom audience, I wanna do it by location. So I am in Charlotte, North Carolina. Let's see how we can get this to display. Really likes Kansas apparently here. All right, one sec guys. All right, so I believe that's just an example here. So I'm going to change this to Charlotte, North Carolina. And um, then I will select the radius. So I want that to be a 25 mile radius around Charlotte, North Carolina, or you can go even larger here. You can even add um, uh, targeting by interest. So if you don't want it to just be demographic or you want to narrow that down even further, you can add uh, or change interest here. So if I click on this option, it will give me the option to search interest. So let's say I want to do real estate. OK, 
Okay. Especially, and you'll see different options here and get creative, you know, real estate investing, especially if this is a, an investment property or could potentially be flipped. That's a great thing to add in. All right. Appraisal. Or maybe, you know, you can think outside the box and put in, let's see, furniture is one here, right? Because if they are looking to buy furniture, that might mean that they're interested in buying a new home. Okay. So it doesn't have to just be real estate related. Try to think outside of the box like pool or fireplace, right? Different amenities to help pull that up even higher. So I'll click save selection here and I can see those audience, I'm sorry, I can see those interests as well as the estimated audience that specifies that they have these interests here. Okay. So now that I completed this step three, I'll click save Facebook ad. <clears throat> Oops, sorry, it's kicking back here, so I'm going to change this to my app. Okay. All right, so now I have all green um, green numbers here, so I can go ahead and click Save Facebook Ad on the bottom right again. All right, we have one last section. We are almost there. So we have duration and budget, so that'll show you the duration that we are running this for. All right, so we recommend a 10-day campaign and a budget of $1 per channel per day. All right, so we have the 10 day span, but of course you can change that from here by clicking the calendar icon. If you wanna run that for a longer period or shorter period of time. You can do a total campaign budget. So let's say I want a $30 budget. Daily per channel is $3, okay? So you in can increase this or lower it. All right, and that would just um, expand the amount of people you are reaching, right? The, the audience that you are reaching, the more you pay, the more people that you'll be able to reach out to, and then you click Save Duration and Budget on the very bottom right. And of course, guys, if you're still working on this, like I've said, feel free to pause the video so that you can follow along. It's a great thing about these tip videos. And then once you're done, so I see all these green check marks here, I can now click Publish Campaign on the very top right to launch that right away. I can click Save as Draft if I would like to come back here. All right, and just a couple other things. You have the option to view your Facebook ad. So this is the Facebook ad that you will be sending out on the right-hand side. So you can view that from a preview or from the web. I'm sorry, from a mobile or a um, web view. So just so you can double-check before you publish that out, feel free to do that on the right-hand side. In this case, I'll click Save as Draft right now. Right, and it'll take you back to all of your Facebook ads here. Um, I just want to point out that it'll show you all the analytics of the ads. So once the status is live, right, or complete here, um, it'll show you all of your Facebook ads right from here. You'll see the duration it went up. All right, so on these acronyms right here, we'll show you the cost per milli. All right, that's what CPM is, and that means the cost per thousand eyeballs that saw your post. All right, cost per click how many people are clicking on your ad, right, and the cost per person to click on that ad, and then cost per link click, okay, if they're clicking on the link like to your website, um, that would show you how much it costs per link click here. Okay, there's always an acronym for everything. But this is really helpful to help track your marketing efforts, maybe see if you didn't get a great return um, on your leads or cost per million and so forth. You know, how can you alter your Add to make it more enticing, right? To make people stop and click on that. So it'll really help you track your marketing efforts. And again, uh, the last thing I want to leave you with is again how to find your Facebook leads. <clears throat> okay, so to do that, that will notify you on the um, bell icon on the top right of command. It'll notify you on your Kelly app. And if you come to contacts on your command database, okay, it'll take you to your contacts. And you can always click on filters on the very top of your command database and select leads only and apply to view only leads that came in from various spots, including your Facebook ads. Okay, so that's how you can keep track of any leads that come in from Facebook. All right, if you have any questions at all on this, please do not hesitate to reach out to us, support at scottleroymarketing.com, and we'd be more than happy to help you through this. All right, I hope this helped, guys, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care.